Reversible changes or physical changes by k8schoollessons.com What is a reversible change? A reversible change is a change that can be undone or reversed. Reversible changes are also called physical changes. We call these physical changes because reversible changes change the physical appearance of substances. Characteristics of a reversible change A reversible change or a physical change changes the physical appearance of a substance such as how a substance looks or feels may change the state of the substance, such as solid, liquid or gas, does not change the amount of matter in a substance, but it can be separated or divided into some parts, does not form a new material. Processes of reversible changes Melting Freezing Boiling, evaporation. Boiling and evaporation are the two types of vaporization. Condensation, sublimation, dissolving, changing the shape of a substance, making mixtures, magnetism and crystallization examples of reversible changes melting melting chocolate chocolate can be melted by heating when you freeze melted chocolate you can make solid chocolate back but it doesn't make a new substance and doesn't change the amount of matter in the chocolate. However, the physical appearance of the chocolate may change. Solid chocolate Heating Liquid chocolate Reversing the action by cooling Liquid chocolate Cooling, solid chocolate, melting ice cubes. When you keep some cubes of ice outside the freezer for a few minutes, you can see how they melt and turn into liquid water. If you pour this water into a tray of ice cubes and keep it in the freezer for some time, you can make ice cubes back. The physical appearance of ice cubes changes. The amount of matter in the ice cubes doesn't change. No new material is formed during the change. Solid ice cubes. Heating. Liquid ice cubes. Reversing the action by cooling. Liquid ice cubes. Cooling, solid ice cubes, melting butter. Heat some butter and see how it melts. Keep the melted butter back in the fridge and get solid butter back. During these changes, the physical appearance of butter changes. The amount of matter in the butter does not change and no new material is formed. Solid butter Heating Liquid butter Reversing the action by cooling Liquid butter Cooling Solid butter Melting candle wax. 
When you light a candle, the heat of the flame melts the wax near the wick. When you let this liquid candle wax cool off, it turns back into solid wax. In these changes, the physical appearance of candle wax changes, but the amount of matter in the candle wax doesn't change. Solid candle wax. Heating. Melting candle wax. Reversing the action. By cooling. Melting candle wax. Cooling. Solid candle wax. Melting metal. People cast metal into shapes by melting them into a liquid. Melted metal is poured into molds. As the metal cools, it solidifies. This is how people make metal objects with different shapes. Aluminium, iron, lead, Copper, gold and silver are popular types of metals that are melted. Also, brass, bronze, steel are some examples of metal alloys created by melting metal. Here, I'm melting a metal wire with a heated soldering iron. A soldering iron is a tool that can melt metal like lead. Can you see how the metal is melting while it is being heated? If you let this melted metal cool down for some time, it'll turn back into a solid metal. The physical appearance of the metal is changed, but the amount of matter in the metal doesn't change. Also, no new material is formed. Solid metal. Heating. Melted metal. Reversing the action by cooling. Melted metal. Cooling. Solid metal. Melting plastic. Similarly, you can melt plastic by heating. Here. I'm using a heated glue gun to heat plastic. Solid plastic. Heating. Melted plastic. Reversing the action by cooling. Melted plastic. Cooling. Solid plastic, melting coconut oil. My mum keeps her bottle of coconut oil outside in the backyard if it is sunny enough before she starts cooking so that she can turn the solid coconut oil into liquid coconut oil. Solid coconut oil, heating, liquid coconut oil. Reversing the action by cooling. Liquid coconut oil. Cooling. Solid coconut oil. Freezing. Making ice cubes. You can make ice cubes by freezing water. Water. Freezing. Ice cubes. When you keep some cubes of ice outside the freezer for a few minutes, you can see how they melt and turn into liquid water. Making jelly by freezing. You can freeze a mixture of liquid jelly and turn it into solid jelly.
If you keep solid jelly outside the fridge for some time, you can get liquid jelly back. Liquid jelly. Cooling. Solid jelly. Reversing the action by heating. Solid jelly. Heating. Liquid jelly. Making popsicles by freezing. You can freeze some fruit juice and make it solid. In this way, you can make tasty popsicles. If you leave your fruit juice popsicle outside for a while, you can see how it starts to melt. Liquid fruit juice. Cooling. Frozen fruit juice. Reversing the action by heating. Frozen fruit juice. Heating. Liquid fruit juice. Freezing lava. Lava is molten rock. Rock can be melted due to the extreme heat at the centre of the earth and turns into a liquid called magma. Magma gushes out of the earth's weaker surfaces as a volcanic eruption. The runny magma that flows from the volcano is called lava. Lava that runs out of the volcanoes cools down quickly. Boiling, evaporating and condensing. You can boil some water and turn it into a gas, which is water vapour. We can also call this steam. This process is called evaporation. If you could capture all the steam that is made when a kettle boils, you could turn it back into water by letting it cool. This process is called condensation. Sublimation Substances like iodine and dry ice can directly change into the gaseous state when they are heated. This process is called sublimation. When solid iodine crystals are heated, they directly form a purple gas without passing through the liquid state. Dry ice is carbon dioxide in its solid form. It turns directly into a gas when heated, instead of melting into a liquid. Dissolving You can make salt or sugar solution by dissolving salt or sugar crystals in water. When you heat the solutions, the water in them will evaporate, leaving behind salt or sugar. Sugar crystals Warm water. Dissolving. Sugar solution. Reversing the action by heating. Sugar solution. Heating, steam, solid sugar.
salt crystals, warm water, dissolving, salt solution. Reversing the action by heating. Salt solution. Heating. Steam. Solid salt. Changing the shape of a substance. We know that physical changes are reversible, but not all of them. Some physical changes occurred by changing the shape of a substance are not reversible. Let's see which are reversible and which are not. When you blow up a balloon, the shape of the balloon is changed. If you let the air inside the balloon go, it will come back to its usual shape. This physical change is reversible. When you crumple a piece of paper, it will become creased and wrinkled. However, neither the amount of matter in the paper nor the material the paper is made is changed. This change is reversible. When you cut, tear or break something, you just alter its shape by dividing the substance into some parts. The amount of matter in the substance and the materials which the substance is made are not changed. These types of changes are physical changes, which are not reversible. When you sharpen a pencil, you change the physical appearance or the shape of the pencil. Also, some amount of the matter is separated from the pencil but no matter or material of the pencil is chemically changed. This physical change is not reversible. When you mould some clay into a pot, the shape of the clay is changed, but no new matter or material is formed. You can turn the pot back into the same chunk of clay before you bake it in the kiln. This physical change is reversible. When you stretch a rubber band, you alter its shape, but it is still made of rubber. When you let it go, it will come back to its usual shape. This physical change is reversible. Similarly, when you squash a sponge, you alter its shape, but it is still made of sponge. When you let it go, it will come back to its usual shape. This physical change is also reversible. Making and separating mixtures. Mixture. Sand and gravel mixture. Method of separation. Sieving. We can separate mixtures of solid particles of different sizes, like a sand and gravel mixture, by sieving. Mixture. Water and sand mixture. Method of separation. Filtration. We can separate a mixture of water and an insoluble substance like sand by filtering. Filter paper is ideal to filter off sand from water. Mixture. Sand and salt mixture. Method of separation. Filtration and evaporation. A mixture of sand and salt can be separated by mixing with water, filtering and then evaporating. The salt dissolves in the water. The sand filters off and the water evaporates to leave the salt. So, what did you notice in all these changes? They all changed the physical appearance of the substance, sometimes the state of the substance too. But 
they didn't change the amount of matter in the substance. Also, no new materials were formed during the changes. Magnetism and crystallization. Magnetism and crystallization are some advanced processes of physical changes. The process of magnetism is reversible and no new materials are formed as it does not affect the chemical composition. The type, shape and size of crystals can be changed by heating, rolling or hammering. However, no new materials are formed. For more free lessons, worksheets, quizzes and videos like this, visit kschoollessons.com. Like our Facebook page. Subscribe our YouTube channel. Follow us on Pinterest and Twitter by clicking the links in this video description. Thanks for watching and see you next time in another video like this.